firstly welcome to the team because um, you've actually been with us for a while, haven't you now? Uh, yes, I started March last year, uh, March 2020, right in time for the COVID-19 lockdown. Yeah. How did that affect your role um, going into it from that time? I suppose quite a difficult time to change jobs, uh, coming from what you know into something that was a bit different. Um, and just, yeah, sort of restrictions that start, started to go into place, um, sort of the close contact, not being able to spend as much time with uh, people sort of face to face, a lot of teams, meetings and conferences and stuff like that. So, Can you tell us a bit about your role and what it entails sort of a day to day? Yeah, sort of day to day, I mean, it can be different every day. I mean, I could be walking a stand and sale with the, the harvesting manager. Uh, I could be in the office uh, building up contract paperwork. I could be out on site taking stock uh, for the next week's deliveries, uh, site inspections. Yeah, it's just constantly being available on the phone. It's a bit of a communications and logistics job. So yeah, just always being ready for changes. Brilliant. Can you tell us what your favourite part of the job role is? Uh, I, I suppose that no days, no two days are the same. Uh, you never really know what to expect. Things can change very quickly. It's quite a fast paced industry. Um, that's probably, yeah, it's, it's not a monotonous role. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's always different every day. Brilliant. I accidentally missed out the first part of the question, which is your background. What actually got you into this job role and okay. into harvesting? OK, so I worked for a national energy supplier. Uh, I worked in the ut utility arb sector, so uh, I was part of a team in charge hand for a team that cut trees round overhead power lines, so creating a safety clearance round power lines. Um, yeah, so I mean, I've, I've got sort of relevant experience in supervising tree cutting, environmental awareness, risk assessment. Um, yeah, and actually the Tell Hill office was just across the road from the office I was based out of before. So. so a nice fit, a nice flow into your new role with Teal Hill. Yes, exactly. Brilliant. Have you found any challenges apart from the whole COVID and starting uh, during the coronavirus? Have you found any challenges, especially in the industry that you can maybe tell us about? Um, I, I, I suppose challenges for myself is just um, cut, cut, although I have tree cutting experience, I mean, harvesting is a different, it's a, it's a different ball game. So, I mean, there's obviously a steep learning curve when I came in the door. Um, so just quite a lot of information to take on board, site management, um, that sort of stuff. But uh, the assistance was there. I've seen quite a lot of changes in my short time here, worked under different management. Um, but yeah, I mean, everybody's been a great help and sort of bringing me on. So Brilliant. And why did you choose specifically to work for Teal Hill? Um, the job, I actually seen the job advertised in the Forestry Journal. Um, so I'd done my job for 11 years. Um, and just fancied a change, really. Um, I, I seen the role, applied for it, um, just thought it would be something different. And I quite like the area where I live in. Uh, and to find a, a good job like this and, and still be able to stay where I like to stay is, um, yeah, I feel really lucky. So Brilliant. Um, a kind of bonus question, which is not related to really your job role. It's more about the industry and public perception of harvesting, which is a big thing at the moment. We'll, for example, put a post out on social media with um, the fact that we're cutting down trees and most people, or well, a lot of people understand, you know, it's a renewable, sustainable resource, but others are like, oh, you're cutting down trees. This is really bad. Mm -hmm. um, do you ever get involved in uh, public consultations or anything to promote how good trees are as a renewable resource? Um, I suppose at the moment it's it's not something that I've been involved in, to be honest, um, not at this stage. OK, well, that's, that was an easy answer. Um, do you think we could be doing more as an industry to promote how important harvesting is and homegrown timber? 
yeah, def definitely. Uh, I think yeah, I think it's definitely a good idea. Um, the likes of social media platforms and stuff is it's a great platform to get the word out there. Um, good way to connect with the public. So. And do you feel the last year there's been an increased demand at all for timber? Oh, definitely, definitely, yes. Um, e even as I look out my window from my office here, you can see machines working on hillsides. It's quite, uh, Argyle's quite a busy area at the moment, yeah. And are we replacing and restocking the trees as fast as we're chopping them down? I would say absolutely, yes. Brilliant. And what sort of sites are you working on at the moment? Are there any challenging sites or are they all um, very easy? Um, I've worked on a variety of different sites since I've arrived. So we've worked on steep ground sites using combination of harvester forwarder and uh, winch as well for steep ground. Um, yeah, the Argyle area is sort of notoriously quite challenging ground, but on, on the flip side of that, I do cover sites that are sort of, uh, yeah, a, a bit more easy, a bit more straightforward harvesting. But I mean, they've always got, they've always got an aspect of something that's challenging, whether it's uh, public access, working next to roads, overhead power lines, there's always something to make it a bit more interesting. So. Oh, fantastic. Well, this has been really good and it is wonderful to have met you face to face, not real face to face, but yes. some face to face. And we hope that soon we can all be in offices together properly and everyone can meet each other. But for now, um, everyone in Teal Hill gets to see your face and know what you're about. And also the public gets to meet you as well, Stuart. So thank you so much for your time today. Okay, thanks very much. Nice to meet you. Lovely. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye.